the product management side uh, the framework that we followed which works uh, pretty well now uh, is uh, you know you, you have to first discover what product works you know so the whole product dis discovery process where you actually identify a minimum viable product and the way to identify this minimum viable product is to uh, you know come up with several ideas test those ideas talk to people about those ideas get feedback uh, and then based on the idea that seems to stick uh, you build a small prototype, you just build mockups or wireframes, right? And you go and show people these mockups, these wireframes, uh, get feedback on them. Uh, and then you identify the wireframe that works, and then you build prototypes around that wireframe. So it's an incremental process. Uh, you do not invest any energy into building products until you have validated uh, that that product will work, right? And once you've validated that it works, you, you build a bigger, better thing around it, right? So you add the bells and whistles later, uh, as long as you identify that one feature set that people really wanted and you didn't have, uh, you know, spend more time discovering that instead of trying to add the bells and whistles. So we've always done this, uh, you know, subconsciously, but in the last six to eight months, you know, we've actually built a process around this uh, entire customer development cycle where we get these feedbacks and user inputs, we reiterate, uh, you know, we, we actually incorporate them into product, we test, we look at analytics, we look at qualitative, we look at, uh, you know, user videos from Clicktail and all. And then we, you know, we favor it again. So if it's not working still, we drop it, uh, we spend energy on something else. Uh, if it's working, we do more of it and we add more bells and whistles around it and we test those bells and whistles. And it becomes a culture essentially in the organization where uh, every week you're testing some hypothesis, uh, you're building a product or feature set around that hypothesis. Once it's live, you're looking at the metrics around that uh, and then you figure out whether the hypothesis is valid or not. If it was valid, you grow that, you put marketing dollars behind that or you put more energy behind that. Uh, if it was not, you junk it, right, or you try to tweak it. So if you follow this mindset, if you can inculcate this mindset in every uh, person in your team, I think you're done because uh, this is probably the only way to grow uh, with a realistic uh, attraction and not attraction which has been bought based on marketing dollars, right.